And what we figure out is that we have uh, the analysis for two of our residents. The algorithm performs similarly to one of the residents, so it's non-inferior to human performance. And it actually, the software performs even better than uh, in one of the, uh, compared to one of our residents. My name is Fernando Kay. I'm a, an assistant professor here at UT Southwestern in Dallas. My first encounter was in 2019, so right before the, the pandemic uh, at RSNA. It was at the LUNITS booth. I was really impressed by the results of the uh, LUNITS CXR algorithm. And that's when I thought that that would be uh, something already clinically ready for use. I began uh, my contacts with the uh, company in 2020, early 2020, to start uh, the research partnership. We are looking at uh, chest radiographs using chest CTs as a standard of reference. So we're trying to validate the results of the algorithm, not against uh, expert interpretation of the x-rays, which is usually the norm for validation of these uh, softwares. Uh, we took patients who had uh, chest CTs and chest x-rays perform at the same on the same day. And then we uh, specifically look at pleural findings initially. The algorithm can uh, assess 10 findings, but we initially focus on pleural findings, which are those that may require urgent clinical um, management. So we looked at pleural effusions and pneumothoraces. And then we uh, looked at the performance of the algorithm compared to the CT standard. And we had uh, excellent results in terms of sensitivity and specificity. We compared those results with human performance. So here at our institution, uh, we have residents who uh, provide preliminary reads on the chest radiographs. Since we envisioned that a, a software like the LUNIT CXR would be acting as a, a first line of interpretation that would be um, reviewed by an expert radiologist, we thought it would be fair to compare the performance of the software against those, uh, the performance of a resident. And what we figure out is that we have uh, the analysis for two of our residents. The algorithm performs similarly to one of the residents, so it's non-inferior to human performance. And it actually, the software performs even better than uh, in one of the, uh, compared to one of our residents. So that's quite interesting because we think that the software can, can also be used as a teaching tool because for the residents who are not matching the software performance, it can actually improve their accuracy and improve their um, confidence in the diagnosis. What we think is going to occur is, is a workflow where the resident is exposed first to the original image without any AI results, have their um, preliminary opinion about what they saw in the preliminary report, and then uh, immediately after that, they will have the access to the results. So at that point, they can compare the results with theirs and see, okay, uh, if there are any discrepancies, have a second look at the finding and decide if that finding is real or not. And so in, in that uh, regard, they will be using the software to either increase their confidence, if, for instance, if they found a, a pneumothorax, if the software also found a pneumothorax, that will increase their specificity in that finding. And it can also increase their sensitivity in the case that they miss the pneumothorax and the software showed them the pneumothorax with the visual results and then by comparing they may learn with that with the missed finding. Nowadays we already know that the autopilot exists so all these small pieces of information that a pilot used to handle by him or herself are now done automatically making uh, his work, I would say, more reliable because there's no variance, right? You can have a great pilot and a bad pilot. Probably they are performing now at a very safe level rather than in the past when you did not have like, autopilot. And then the same thing will occur with radiology in a sense that with uh, AI algorithms extracting all these pieces of information from images, eliminating part of that integrating process will make all radiologists perform at the highest level possible. And then they can focus their intelligence or their ability to combine pieces of information now at a higher level. Now they can make better diagnosis and change management.